Oh, welcome to question 9 November 2020. I am Gustin Mapala right here at Mets with Gustin. Now let's have a look at this question 9. It was a probability question uh, like the others as well of uh, question 9 of the different years. Okay, now let's have a look at this one. 9.1 we are given that okay two events a and b are such that the event of not getting a is that the event of b 0 0.3 the event of uh, a or b is given by 0 0.6 are the events independent or dependent okay so basically we need to come here we know from our equation that the probability of a and probability of b needs to be equal to the probability of a times the probability of b for this event to be independent all right so therefore uh, what we can do here let's have a look at what is given now do we need the probability of a so we are given the probability of not a this is the same as saying a uh, one This is the same as saying 1 minus uh, the probability of A. Okay, rather let me not write it like this because it could be a bit confusing. Okay, rather let me write it like this. I will say the probability of A, probability of A is given by 1 minus the probability of not getting A. So therefore it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.45 which will give us uh, 0, 0.55 which is the probability of a right and therefore what else what else what else what else do we need we need also the probability of a and b now we got that one we got this one as well we're looking for the probability of a and b so therefore we know from our general formula of probability that the probability of a or b is equals to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b okay this is our general formula this one is given to us which is uh, 0 0.685 is equals to probability of a 0 0.55 plus probability of b which is 0 0.3 minus the probability of a and b which is what we are looking for probability of a and b so if we simplify this and then divide by a negative this is what we should have negative a probability of a and b is equals to is equal to negative 0 comma 165 therefore divide by negative 1 on all the size probability of a and b is equals to 0 comma 165 okay so therefore having that in mind a uh, having that in mind okay it means now on this equation we already found this side here yeah? this side is given by 0 0.165 so now let's come here and say therefore if we would find the probability of a and the probability of b if we multiply them together if they give us 0 0.615 therefore we should have an independent event multiply by probability of b which is 0 0.3 the answer here i'm getting 0 0.165 therefore this means a and b an independent event They are independent event. All right, 9.2. Question 9.2. It is a Venn diagram, and then there's a diagram there. A survey was done among a group of 75 learners to determine which sports they watch on TV. Okay, so they chose athletics. They chose they they choose from athlet, athletics, netball, and rugby. So the in some of the information that was collected is shown below. So we've got twelve that that watch both netball and rugby. Makes sense. Twenty five that plays rugby. Athletic. We've got twenty two that plays netball and athletics. Then we've got uh, thirty eight that plays uh, that watches rugby. Uh, five only netball and rugby nine 
a netball only and then four athletics only okay and they also give us a diagram on the side there how nice okay so therefore now let's have a look at uh, 9.1 9.2.1 9 9.2.1 said find the values of a b c and d all right okay stop so we know the total number of nanas we've got is 75 so now let's have a look at a it's this value here so what is a a is between netball and athletics so now we go to the information given we look for netball and athletics they said the total number of learners there that watches is 22 okay so now what you do now you come here and say because we need to use this is 22 but this 22 is including those that also watch rugby so you want to remove those that are watching a uh, rugby netball and a uh, athletics all together right so now what you can do here you can come here and say okay a is therefore going to be 22 which is the ones that are watching netball and athletic but we need to minus this 12 to remove the ones that are also watching rugby all right so this will give us 10 okay so therefore here we have 10 there all right b is going to be equals to let's check b b is between a uh, rock bill and athletics so let's go and look at rock bill and athletics rock bill and athletics it says 25 learners watch rock bill and athletics so we need to remove so it's going to wait to have 25 but let's remove the ones that are also watching netball here. we're going to remove them therefore we're going to be left with 13 then here c is going to be equal to we see now c is here these are the ones that are watching rugby only so here is going to be 13. so these are the ones that are watching rugby only all right great stuff so now let's come here and look at it the ones that total number of learners that watch rugby okay total number of learners that watch rugby this includes the ones that are watching rugby netball and also athletics so you want to remove them okay so the total number is 38 so now let's remove the ones that are watching rugby and netball which is this one five here the watch that are watching all three will remove them and then uh, what else you need to remove also the ones that are watching rugby and uh, athletics all right which is this 13 here so therefore the number that is left here it's eight which is the ones that are watching rugby only therefore d is going to be equal to d it's given by the total number let me see c is equals to eight okay now this d refers to the ones that are watching nothing at all so now the total number here is 75 okay it's 75 learners minus those that are doing something those that are watching something so this is the total of the numbers that are is within the cycles here or within the venn diagram so i have randomly added that is giving uh, me 61 please double check my mathematics so therefore 14 so therefore d which means 14 of these 75 people watches nothing they don't watch netball they don't watch rugby they don't watch athletics all right so let's move on to 9.2.2 9.2.2 said calculate the probability that a learner selected at random which is athletics or rack or both netball and rugby all right okay let's come here probability that watch athletic or netball and rugby okay so now we said okay let's account first for the ones that are doing athletics so for the athletic you are going to add uh, 12 do you include the whole cycle of athletics okay you're going to add 12 plus 10 is going to be 22 plus 13 and therefore plus 4 that gives us 39 out of 75 okay so we've included the ones that are doing exactly plus the ones that are the ones that are watching netball and rugby the ones that are watching netball and rugby so for netball and rugby I need to come here netball and rugby netball and rugby will be this one here which is five 
5 divided by 75. Therefore, the total probability would then be 4, 4 divided by 75, which is therefore it's equal to 0 0.59. All right. I am Gaston Mapala, guys. Make sure that I see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question 10th of November 2020, grade 11, up until uh, 2022.